Hey everyone, Tin Man here. Round three of ETS World Championships. Uh, it's me versus Eric 9099. Uh, he's on an FTJ control deck of some sort, an armory type control deck. Um, unfortunately, we're in second. Uh, but this hand is reasonable. It's got double teacher of humility. The fact that he only has three torches in the main deck uh, gives me a little bit of faith that these teachers will get some value. Okay, so we need to find a little bit of fire influence, but luckily we've got the Amber Acolyte to do just that. Hopefully no torch is forthcoming. Ooh, looks like it is. Or it doesn't marshal. That's reasonable. At least I get to keep my 3-3. Even if I lose the effect. Cookbook. Seems reasonable. So I can attack for 3. And now I've got a decision. Obviously going to play the time sigil. The question is, what else? Um, assembly line is probably pretty good. It plays around an auric rune hammer the best. And I've got a rally that I'd like to cash in before a harsh rule comes down. They're just going to activate the cookbook, which to me means they're short on power. Uh, it's possible he just drew that, or maybe it was not that short. Okay. Uh, perhaps now has a harsh rule. Say space and find out. Blocking that to me does not signal a harsh rule, but I'm not necessarily keen to overcommit on that assumption because that's a well known bluff. Um, among the higher levels of play, which clearly this is the highest level of play. So I think I'm just going to pick up a Fire Sigil here, uh, play my card that's not really a card. It still keeps the pressure up, um, and we still have a good rally if there's no Harsh Rule forthcoming. That's a Throne Warden, but I can rally through that, no problem. <clears throat> I think I just A-Space, and if you block something that I can rally onto I'll do that it is not so I think I'll just um, push the damage you know I throw away a grenadine for six points sign me up um, I kind of want to play a card that'll force a harsh rule if any is to come out uh, so that's either Marison or it's temple scribe plus teacher I think in the interest of hitting my power drop it's going to be temple scribe plus teacher we hit the power drop, but I'm still just going to play Teacher because Assembly Line is better to re-establish the board with after a board wipe. So I just want to put the pressure on him to have a board wipe here. Does not, is, is drawing more cards, which gives us a massive opening to cast Rally here. And that is the concession incoming. Sweet. So we won even though we lost the die roll, which is awesome. Uh, you know, it's very key in this kind of matchup to, to get that, you know, to, to win <laughs> the break serve immediately. Um, so that's yeah, that's, just, that's just really great all around. All right, and we're up 1-0. So luckily we don't need to do the conceding until Eric gets to go first, because Eric has won the die roll. I uh, will redraw. That hand does not play anything. This hand's quite reasonable. It's got 1-2-3. Uh, could be weak to a harsh rule, but hopefully we'll get enough pressure down before that becomes relevant. Uh, no Desert Marshal could come out here, but a Torch still could. I'm going to play the Praxis Banner right away, so even if they Torch it here, which doesn't make sense, you would have Torched it on his turn, but you never know. Um, yeah, let's just... I need to actually play the Trailmaker in order to get up to Yushkov mana next turn. And then... Since... Um, you know, I, I'm being so aggressive, I might as well just you know play it all out here. Oh, we just had the obelisk. Oh god, that seems fair and balanced. A space plus torch on this thing. To get that out of the way, deal six. Seems good. Now I don't need to commit the Yushkov until after a harsh rule. If there's ever going to be a harsh rule. 
There's not a double green. I'm still not going to play the Yushkov. Um, I think I will scout for power here. Scout power away, that's what I meant. I don't think I throw away the initiate for, for two points of damage here. Just instantly does nothing. That's got to feel good, right? Um, let's just steal two to him. Now I'm fine to A space. Throw this away for six. That's a much more appealing trade. Especially since now it's more likely there's a harsh rule coming in now that I've played a heart of the vault. He's stumbling on power. Vanquish is still good. I think I'm just going to play two 1 1 Grenadins after this. So that I'm still threatening, you know, good good plays. Actually, no, I might just play Yushkov. And if you harsh rules, I just play four Grenadins on the backswing. It seems pretty good. Yep. We play four Grenadins, and we've got the Xenobolus proc next turn, which will exactly fatal him. It's weak to a second harsh rule, I suppose. Sure. Well, we still have the Xenobolus that's maxed. <laughs> it's unfortunate, the second harsh rule, but... Now anything we get is plus two plus two. That's a really good threat. He has two of his five remaining cards are power. That's a really good threat. Just play 9-9. Nine, nine. <laughs> 9 power right away. Rune Hammer takes care of one. A Torch may take care of the second, but this is a lot of good value for us. Oh, another one! Another one bites the dust here. Easy top decks. Yeah, that's gotta be a game. Unless a miracle top deck here from him. Yep. Sweet. Two and O. Oh. So, uh one game away from uh winning this series. This will be a nice quick series, hopefully if I can take it down. Yes. Since the, like the games are long and there's a lot of conceding back and forth, I actually just like keep a little notepad here with like who won each game, uh, just so I can. I don't need to question like, wait, was that game one or game two or game three or who, what's the record? Uh, this hand is reasonable. It's got to turn through Yushkov. Actually, no, it doesn't. I can't actually cast Trailmaker on two and cast this on one. Never mind. Had it. Now I don't want any more power though. We've got plenty enough power. So just a simple turn two trailmaker. Because I can attack with both. Trailmaker for time since I already have enough fire, right? Maybe it is fire actually. So that I can get when I play my granite waste though next turn. I can at least get a Grenadine out of it. I don't need to like waste it. it means I don't have the triple time for uh, for Heart of the Vault just yet. So let's check a look at his market. You got Boar, Torch, Cookbook, Reforge, Rise to the Challenge. Probably getting a Boar. That would be a very logical choice here, I think, um, considering how badly they got beaten down by the Xenobolus the last two games. But uh, we've got um, we've got plenty of things of our own here. So there's probably a boar 
There's... Ooh, that torch was very nice. Allowing us to push through some damage here. Um, otherwise, we couldn't realistically attack very well. And I don't need to commit anything more to the board in order to push through that guy. Or girl. Um, and I can just play that depleted. Hell yeah, I want to rally. No reason to play the granite in just yet. This is plenty enough of board they need to answer. The argument for the Grenadine is that it exactly presents Fatal with Rally, but there's really no reason to, to do that. There's like very little chance that I get a free attack therein. Um, I think I just play... This is still threatening Fatal, right? If I go Marisons for Sandcrawler... Or I guess I'm one short. It's still a really good board here. Another harsh rule, that's fine. And then I play Yushkov Grenadin. Hopefully by now you're out of tokens. Hold the time sigil in case you want to grab a, something out of the market. There's two more justice sigils, so one sigil left. And a rise. Okay, so they didn't get boar, they got rise. Presumably for Ikaria or maybe a weapon. I'm not positive. I'm gonna save Rally for next turn. Since I'll be able to get three procs on it, assuming they kill one of my unit with a weapon. Yeah. That'll presumably kill Yushkov, that's fine. On the backswing, I rally and kill it. Will that be good enough? Not good enough yet. Now is in obliterate range. Or torch plus my attacks range. Privilege of rank. Really flooded on that side. He's got so many. That, I mean, that's a lot, but Obelisk seals it. <laughs> Obelisk off the top. Although, probably just playing Yushkov and attacking over and over again would probably have got there as well. Uh, so nice, a sweet 3-0. and um, And that's my overall record in Worlds so far. 3-0 uh, and o, and a Twitch drop to top it all off. So it feels good. Hopefully uh, I can get a nice 4-0 and, and wrap this day up early.